Hello everyone, welcome back to my Node.js authentication app with JSON Web Token. This is tutorial number four of this series. In our last tutorial, I created a client folder and other necessary JavaScript files and template folders and other HTML files. Okay, today I'm going to start my project. Now I'm going to start with a controller.js file. So I'm going to write angular dot module and my app then i'm going to write controllers dot controller and i'm going to app.js file i need login controller function and also i need register controller and also profile controller and last of all i need app controller okay and here i need dollar scope here i am writing dollar scope injecting auth service state and state params as a parameter and i'm copying it and pasting here also and i'm writing the code dollar scope dot user is equal to email and password then if dollar state params dot obj the object will send through our route not equal to null then cope dot message is equal to dollar state params dot obj we are loading our object into the scope dot message variable okay and then var no dollar scope dot login is equal to anonymous function auth service dot login that means auth service we are calling this method from this auth service auth service dot login okay auth service dot login and we will need to send the user dollar scope dot user here we will collect the user given information through the form like uh, email and password and we will pass to the our service login method to get the result and then it will return a promise and function message dollar state go profile okay function error message scope user we are initializing the value and we are creating alert message is equal to i am creating an object title login failed and template will be error message and dollar state dot go home dot login and with some object and this alert message okay okay now i'm going to register control register control will be similar to this one so i am going to copy this line of course control c and pasting it here and it will be uh, first initialize the scope dot user and then checking the state parameter object and setting the message and then i am going to copy and pasting it here and changing the name register and anonymous function and here i need to pass okay passed it register this will be the register and here also we need to pass the user object then uh, it will be home dot login and i need to create and also this object and alert message and here it will be register success okay template will be only the message and here will be the error message it will be register fail and it will be redirected to register page now i'm going to write profile controller here i'm going to write dollar scope get info is equal to function and i'm going to write dollar oh, i need to pass these parameters first dollar http 
dot get I'm copying it and pasting it here profile and then scope dot user and here will be the response scope dot user is equal to response dot data dot user and one more method we need here that is dollar scope dot logout function auth service dot log out and after log out dollar state go home dot login okay and the last app controller i need to pass scope state and auth service okay and here i'm writing dollar scope dot dollar on here i can write same thing here anonymous function event auth service dot log out and i'm going to write session is lost and here i'm giving the message sorry you need to log in again and here will be login not register i'm going to change it here and also in the service okay this much for controller and i'm going to save it and i'm going to template dot home and here i need to write some html code and before that in a index file i need to write ui view i'm going to inject my templates i'm going to save it and now i am going to write the template folder and here is the home i'm going to copy some basic course from some of my project earlier here i need to change a bit uh, here i need to change ui cash href instead of href because if i use ui angular ui router i need to write the link in this way href and here i need to write dot as i have the home route also and beneath it i need to write ui view as a nested route okay now i am going to login form and i have pasted the code here and it is the exact same code from the my node.js authentication with angular.js by local strategy so i am not going in detail of ex explaining this code so only changes that i need to make is here the title because i am sending the message object with two properties one is title and another is template that's why okay and rest of the thing will be same and i am going to copy this code one more time and putting it into the register dot html file and only changing here login function will be register function and rest of the things will be almost the same okay and for the profile i i have listed here the profile page code of my last tutorials so it is the exactly the same code here is the user email and logout link here and here to display the user profile information and in our last tutorial we displayed the information just after the user logged in or after registration but here i am giving some button to get information if the user click the button then he will see the restricted information then the token will be sent to the server and he will be able to see the user information otherwise he will not be able to see the user information so this is the course so i am going to save it i am going to save all and i'm going to 
start mongodb and also i am going to mongo shell and i am going to delete it the users document and if i say show dbs there is no user document here so i am going to the browser and before that i need to start my project i need to come back to the root and start nodemon server dot js server is running i'm going to localhost 3000 and go to console uh, here there is controller 404 okay let me check I have written controller and my file is controllers so i need to start add s and going to save it and again restarting and i am starting the server and going to the browser and i need to put the quotation here okay oh, i did not give the r spelling mistake i am going to save it router okay here it is okay and dollar okay so i am going to restart my server and i'm going to the browser and refresh the page okay it is coming now so this is the user login form it is coming from this form and i'm going to test it if i write rakib and any arbitrary password so it is giving the message no user found this message is coming from this section and we are sending this message through our login controller through this object this message we are generating okay now i will have to create a user so i am going to create it and if i don't give the valid email and it is giving me the message enter valid email address i fixed this angular js validation in my previous applications so you can see if you like so i need to give valid email address mail.com and here if i give some password and i have fixed up that the password should be more than six characters so i will have to enter six character at least and now it is enabling to submit my user information i am going to submit it to register the user and it is redirecting me to the login form and the success message is coming out and this thing is coming from register controller so from this this message is coming and we are sending this and we are redirecting to login form and if it does not register properly then it will redirect to itself register form so if i try to do that like if i want to register another user and before that i am going to enter the same email address and try to register one more time and what message it gives registration failed so user is not registered okay so i'll have to give the valid login form i'll have to go to register and i did not change registration form. okay refreshing the page okay now i am going to do it again and if i try to register again so it is is in the register form and giving me the message so if i try to invalid email address same validation will work here as it worked before so i'm going to as a new user samira mail.com and password i'm giving and trying to register and it is redirecting to login form okay now i am going to log in so if i try to give the wrong user id and some password so it is telling me that login failed no user found okay and now if i the right email address and wrong password then it is giving the message password does not match so at this time i will give the correct credentials and it is locked in and it is going to the profile page i have set to button here one user information another is field token and i am going to profile page here and here i have given one logout anchor tag uh, for getting this one and here two buttons one button it is telling uh, the user information to get the user information with the token another is uh, we disconnect the token and we are killing the session i'm going to uh, explain the things like when i use the get info then it is going to controllers file and the profile controller uh, we are getting this uh, method and we are sending our request to the server with the 
the profile route and when we are getting the right response we are sending it to display as a user object but when we are sending this request to the server we must send the token without token this profile route will not send the user information and for that reason i set a service some sort of token methods i am going to set token into the local storage and i am using this local storage whenever necessary and i am sending this local authorization token with the request with the http headers okay and i am going to test this methods now i am logged in but i am not i am not getting the user information to get user information i am clicking it and it will trigger the get info method and i am getting the information now if i go back and this is the page it will go and i can again get the information by using the token as it is locked in if i logged out and try to go to profile i'm not letting go, uh, do that so i need to log in again so i can use here if i here and profile or and if i use the information and press the page again can use this information but if i kill the token that means we are destroying the token and then if i refresh the page and try to retrieve the information it will be sent to the login page and the session is lost message will come and we are getting the 401 unauthorization request their status we are not anymore authorized to get the credentials of users so what i need to do i need to log in again to get that information and it is the ideal case so it is the magic of json web token or a system of web token okay i am going again two three four five six is my password and user information and if i don't kill the session I refresh the page and i can get information anytime but if i once kill the token if i refresh the page and if i want to the information i'll be direct to this okay this much for now and this is our node.js authentication application by using sport jwt that means json web okay i hope this tutorial was informative for you and if you have any question or any comments please leave it into the comment box and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching